Yes. Yes. Look, look, look. Yes. 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 Find it. 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 Yes. Good girl. Find it. Yes! Good job! Find it! Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Find it! Yes, good girl. That was a hard one, huh? Find it. Yes, jackpot. Good girl, jackpot. 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 Good job. Find it. Yes, good girl. Find it. Yes, good girl. Find it. Yes, good girl. Find it. Yes, good job. Good girl. You get a jackpot for that. Jackpot, good girl. Find it. Yes, good girl. Find it. Yes, good job. Good girl. Find it. Yes! Good job, Maverick! Okay, we're going to teach Maverick now to start searching for the odor in boxes. The boxes can be all different sizes. I'm going to keep them open. I'm going to put the odor in birch oil and I'll just leave the boxes open. I'm also going to put in her motivator, which in this case is dehydrated rabbit. Maverick is extremely food motivated. So we leave the boxes open. She's just going to come wander through the boxes and when she notices the odor of the food, she's going to dip her head in and get a good strong snout full of the birch and it won't be long before she will use the birch to find her food because the birch's odor is so much stronger. Okay, now we're bringing Maverick in for the search. Yes, yes, good girl. So I'm gonna feed her in the box in addition to her eating the food that I paired. Good girly. All right, we're gonna bring her out. Sit, please. Good, stay. And now I move the boxes up around because if you leave them in the exact same position, 
then what's going to happen is the dogs are going to see the same configuration and say, oh, it's always in this box. This way, when I change it around, she has to actually search for it. All right, we're going to take her through again. I get my treats ready. Off, please. Let's find it. Yes, good girl. So she got the motivator. I'm feeding her another one. Good girl. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it one more time with the motivator. Sit, please. Good. Stay. Again, I change up how everything looks. And we'll try it again. Off, please. Off. Let's find it. So she's knowing to stick her head in. Yes, good girl. Good girly. Yes to you. Good girl. Okay, so I usually do a minimum three searches paired with a motivator. And since she knew to look, um, let's go ahead and see how she is without the motivator this time. Good girl, come here. Sit, please. Stay. All right, there's no motivator. I still need to mix up the boxes. Everything looks needs to look unique each time. Otherwise, she's going to go back to the same area, same box. And I put the, leave the odor in the same box because if you switch out boxes, What's happening is you're going to have lingering odor. So if she sticks her head in a box where the odor used to be and it's gone, and then you treat her for something, for sticking her head in another box, you just taught her to ignore odor. So we're not gonna do that. We're going to keep the odor in the same box. No treat this time. Stay. Okay, let's find it. Yes, good girl. So she had a head snap, and I didn't wait for her head to go all the way down, which was definitely my fault. Good girly. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Sit, please. Stay. what happens with new dogs they do get distracted yes good girl good girl nice job look at you good girl okay one more time that was very nice that was no motivator that time and we'll do one more without a motivator sit stay Good. Stay. Oopsie. Where's your sit? Where's your sit? Thank you. We'll do a circle this time. Okay, ready? Here we go. Find it. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Now she's not alerting yet because she doesn't know to alert. All she knows is to stick her head in the box with the odor. Good girl. Nice. You're done for now. Yeah. Step three now is to teach my dog to think outside the box. So we've done cans to teach them that odor is desirable. We did boxes to teach them to search for the odor in a contained area where the odor is strong. Now we're going to do an exterior search where it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to find a place to put the odor. I'll put it under these leaves. And I'm also going to pair it with a motivator. So dehydrated rabbit. I'll put it with the odor. All right. Now we'll go get Maverick and see how she does. 
Our first exterior search with Maverick. She knows there's something there. Yes, good girly. She's sticking her nose right where the odor was. I'm going to treat her even though she didn't indicate to me this is what we're looking for just because she obviously used her nose to get to this area and she doesn't know yet she's good girl yeah let's go we're gonna put it in a different location now you cannot hide odor more than once in a small confined area because there's going to be drifting odor and it's going to especially confuse the novice dog okay so, so we did so well in the first search we're not going to add the motivator this time so this is maverick going after odor with no motivator find it yes good girly so she stuck her nose right in it good girl here you go and i'm going to feed her as close to the odor as i can we are not ready yet for a trained alert behavior okay our third search the exterior search i train in sets of three um you do more than that then what you're going to do is give overload to the dog and stress them out or bore them so we do sets of three are you ready? Let's go find it. Yes, good girl. So she noticed odor and she was going to come back to me and say, so what is it that we're doing? And then she goes, no, wait, I noticed, noticed odor down there. Good girly. And again, I feed her as close to the odor as I can. Nice job. 